EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Falcons. Philip Lindsay, 77 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Myers connects on the PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Go, go. Six. Six. Right there, right there. 56. On the ball, the ball, the ball. The ball. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Shotgun now for Wentz. Blitz coming and down he goes. Montez Sweat in there for the sack, and that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow, what a season. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on the punt. yards well done on the return and the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already on first and ten it's Lindsay and this winds up a gain of four to the 41 when we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Let's make these babies proud. Five on the 50. From the 41, Winston. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. Now second and seven from the 23. Sunday, Sunday. And he's going to find Hogan here, complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. 
pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? It's a cool, the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night. Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Here's Britton Colquitt now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. That's complete to Slayton. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Falcons. Darius Slayton, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. To throw his wins, and he finds his tight end, Graham. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. And defensively going with a dime set. Six DBs on third and four. Hey, hey, high seven. Turn it up, turn it up. Wins to throw again. And that is incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. This is fielded at the 7. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of 5. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They got things going their way early. 14-0 lead. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. 
19 yards that time for number 19. Back-to-back -back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. On third down, Winston. Eluding the prank. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Cameron Jordan, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On second down, here's a run with Matt. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. 46 down, man, On first down, Wentz. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Well, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And on second down, this is Gurley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Saints on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second and nine, Winston buying time to his left. And Winston lost the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defense is talking about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. They'll run with Lindsey. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this is picked up by the Saints. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Pardon me, you know how often we hear about the...
Red zone, right from the 20 yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10 yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job take care of the ball. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Oh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on. Come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time. Fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester. That's for sure. Because... To be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, and move on to the next series. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. So after the INT, here's Wentz. He uncorks it for Snead, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Willie Snead. His third touchdown now on the year as they have now chopped this lead down to three. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and the lead is down to two. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Bryant now to kick it away. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On first down, right back to Lindsey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. A first down throw for Winston. This is the tight end fan. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10, right at the 40. Working out of the gun, Winston. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now 
was a really nice run there to bring up third and short after the incompletion on first down. It's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Mike ready. Black 22. Three, two, three. Check, check. They'll try and run for it with Lindsey. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defense is awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the turn. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Oh, a free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's wins. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw, Winston. And fights him off. Flush to his right. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, well, the pressure gets to him again. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Working from the gun, Wentz. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. A 
about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. On second down, a run with Lindsey. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. New Orleans adding some depth to the secondary. They've got six DBs out there now for third. From the gun, Winston. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, good move. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. Third quarter starts with a run by Mack. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Throwing his wins. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, yeah. we, got we, got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense. And let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. Jameis now just 6 of 15 through the air. Not good, but first and 10 here. Jameis to throw it. Catch made by Slayton. 
Give him a couple on the catch in second and eight. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher if guys trying to get to the football. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games for whatever reason. Their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Second and nine now from the 21. Now wins. He's airing it out for Sanu. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, deep ball, short ball. That was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. Here's Britton Colquitt now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Here's a give to Lindsey running right. Gets around him. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. That's going to be caught. A good pick up there, 22. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. Now here's Pollard. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Tony Pollard. His second touchdown on the season. And the Falcons push further out in front. Myers connects on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. 
You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The connection made, it's Graham. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. This will be fielded at the 17. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Throwing again on second down. Winston, open man is Galladay, complete. Seven yards there and a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. On first down, it's Lindsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. But how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. At the 39-yard line. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Now it's Lindsey. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Winston now to throw on first down. He's got his big tight end, Fant. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success, how about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. Second and seven, Winston, and intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Vernon Hargraves with a pick. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. He's at the 40, 20, 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Now a carry for Lindsey. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, with a fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Winston from the gun on third down. Set up shop at the 32-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used a calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. They keep it on the ground. Mac again. Go, go. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. We got four. We got four. Man, five, seven. 26 months. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense in them with a big play. On second and nine, Winston. And that is incomplete. 
A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here's Matt Bosher now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going with Lindsey. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run here with Lindsey. Room here to run. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on them to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That last play, though, not indicative of the night he's had running the football. No, you're exactly right about that because all through this evening, it's been their night, hasn't it? One play here, they get it against them. I wouldn't worry about that very much at all. Just continue to do what they've been doing. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. On second down now, it's Lindsey, and he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. On third down, here's Lindsey. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And Myers able to knock it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Here's Bosher to kick it away. Bosher. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. So back to back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. To throw his wins. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there? Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw. And open here is Hogan. He's got it. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. It's complete to Snead. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 32-yard line. Haven't heard much from him all night, but welcome to the party, making his presence felt in a big way. They've kept him under wraps all night long, but boy, did he find a great time to bust down. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you can just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> as this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because it just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance. There ain't no time, is it? Playing skills, you did. Playing, playing, playing skills. Play, 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 play Calling the rest, uh, pulling the rest, uh, uh, watch how I flip, uh, watch how I whip, uh, uh, I'm in the whip, uh, uh, pulling the rest, uh, uh, I never switch, uh, uh, ice in the wrist, uh, uh, calling the rest, uh, uh, pulling the rest, uh, uh, watch how I flip, uh, watch how I whip, uh, uh, I'm in the whip, uh, uh, pulling the rest, uh, uh, I never switch, uh, uh, ice in the wrist, uh, uh, I get the money, I never switch. Uh, uh, they say you switch, you won't get it. I kept from the bottom and now we is lit. You was lit. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. You hate it. Why does she wanna be famous? Uh, 
the hell of the matters. Huh? You know I'm Pisces and Vegas. Huh? This is the that hate us. Huh? I make a lot of new money. Huh? When the it's not saving. Huh? You be liking my flavor. Huh? I think it's God. Huh? 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 Hard. 